I'm Pastor George Borkarn, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. God loves you, but not because of the reason you think he does. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Easter 6, that gives us John 16, 27. Great verse. You see, we believe that God loves us. Everybody believes that God everybody believes that God loves them. The pagans, the unbelievers, everyone. God's love, they say. He's a loving God and he loves us because, well, we're so lovable. Or there's something inside of us that's lovable. Or there's something inside of us that's just sparked or breathed on. The fire will ignite and we will be lovable. Maybe some people think that God loves us to make us lovable. Eh. Well, here, Jesus, as he rounds out stuff right before his ascension, tells us the Father loves you, present tense, because you loved, perfect tense, me, and believed that I came from God. Think about that. The present tense love of God that God has for you, the present tense reality of God's love isn't dependent upon you at all. It's dependent upon what Jesus did for you in coming to you in the waters of your baptism, washing your sins away, feeding you his word and giving you his, his body and blood and making you his own. The spirit who's worked this faith in you to believe that Jesus lived his life for you and died the death you deserve, and then he rose again on the third day. The Father loves you because of Christ. You see, the past tense makes it even better. All right. Jesus called the disciples. The Spirit worked faith in them. And because of Jesus, the Father loves, present tense, the apostles. He loves you too in the same way. Because of Christ. and Now, don't turn that into something that you do. Um, well, the thing that I do that makes me more lovable than other people is that I love God, unlike other people. Because you don't, that was yesterday. You don't, you don't, you didn't choose God. God chose you in the giving up of his son. And so everything about God's love is wrapped around, flows through, contingent on, hangs on Jesus on the cross. So if you want to know why God loves you, you don't have to look at you at all. All you need to do is look at Jesus and what he did for you. And what he did for you was to die and to rise again and to make you his own, um, to purchase and win, uh, win you from sin, death, and the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with holy precious blood and innocent suffering and death, and that so that you would be his own. And live under him in his kingdom. And serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness. So it all is wrapped, the love of God is all wrapped up, is held together by your baptism. By the external word of the gospel. By the forgiveness of sins. By the body and blood of Jesus. Which takes the pressure off of you to make yourself lovable to God. Or to find something inside yourself that would make you lovable. You aren't lovable. That's the point. Jesus is lovable. Calvary lovable. Easter lovable. And the Spirit works that Jesus, Calvary, and Easter into you through the gifts, word, water, and his body and blood. And that's what makes God love you. Not you, Jesus. His love is all about the cross and the resurrection of Christ and faith which grasps hold of that word of the gospel, clings to, to Jesus, and drags us from punishment to life everlasting, drags us from hatred by God into love. We should be hated by God, but we are not because of Christ. Because of Christ, we have crossed from hate to love. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.